Hey there, welcome back. In this video, we're going to learn about using the whole wizard. In my graphic area, I've got an assembly that contains three plates. Let's activate the whole wizard. It's under assembly features. Our first task is to select the whole type. We've got nine types here, counter bore, counter sink, simple hole, a straight tap, a tapered tap, and a legacy hole. The next three are slots. A counter bore slot, a counter sink slot, and a simple slot. We're going to return to the rest of the settings on the type tab for a moment. For now, let's go to the positions tab. Here we've got the option to use a 2D or a 3D sketch. Right now, I'm just going to click in the graphic area. So my first click chooses the face where the hole will originate. It's my second click that places the hole. Each subsequent left click will place another hole. Basically, we're in the sketch environment, and as you see here, the point tool is active. Let's click on it to deactivate it. Now that it's not active, I can grab and reposition my holes. I can also apply dimensions. Let's cancel out for now. Let's activate the hole wizard tool again. Go straight to the positions tab. The other option for positioning your hole is to click on 3D Sketch here in the Property Manager. Or we can click on any faces in the graphic area that aren't flat. Now we're taken to the 3D Sketch environment. My second click positions the hole, and all subsequent left clicks place another hole. Let's cancel out of this hole. If I select the face first, for example, and then I activate the whole wizard tool afterward, now let's go to the positions tab. Notice that the 3D sketch option is not there. The face is already pre-selected for us. Let's position our holes and go back to the type tab. 